Hello and welcome to our tutorial for the macrame headband. You may purchase our macrame headband kit from our Instagram account at wanamacrame or our website wanamacrame.com. So the materials you're going to need that you will find in your kit is four pieces of rope that are three yards each. You will also find two pieces of rope that is one yard each and two elastic bands that um, will actually be connected together to form the elastic base of the headband. You will also need scissors, a tape measure, a, a wooden dowel or anything similar to that. And you will need something heavy to um, keep your dowel in place as you make the knots or another option is to use s hooks or you can actually even use rope to be able to hang the dowel uh, from any hanging point that's also another way to make the headband so this is the final product and let's begin so take the four pieces of rope and we're going to do a knot called the lark's head to be able to mount the rope so you will need to fold your rope in half hitch it over the wooden dowel like this and get the tail end of the rope and pull the tail end through the loop and pull until it is snug so there that is the lark's head this is the way to mount your rope so you will do that now for the four pieces of rope All right, so now that all four pieces of rope are mounted onto the dowel, you will get that uh, heavy piece of like a plant pot for me. Put it over it so that it is in place and you can uh, do the knots without the dowel moving. Or you can use S hooks and hang the dowel from um, any hanging point in your house. So now let's begin. You get your tape measure and uh, measure about 10 inches from the top of the dowel and from that point I want you to separate um, the rope into four groups like this four groups of two ropes each again in the 10 inch mark now the middle cords that's um, called your holding cords and the two outer cords that's called your working cords this is called a square knot now you take your working cord take the right one and put it over the working cord the holding cords and take the left one and put it over the right group of cords there like that like a like a reverse number four and then the left one you bring it to the back and pull it through the loop of the right side that way okay now pull sideways pull both working cords sideways and pull the holding cords down to make sure that they are straight so I, I usually just use my fingers to hold it down and then pull sideways that way you have a snug uh, knot but not very tight but snug okay so now we're going to, so that's just half of the square knot now we'll do the opposite side so the left side over the holding cords the right side over the left side then bring the right side to the back and through the left side loop pull it through so basically it's just the opposite of what we did earlier and then again pull the working cords sideways and pull the holding cords down now just do this gently so it's snug but it's still gent gentle 
there. So now we have made a big square knot because I say big because we're using two cords, um, double the, the number of cords. But now we are going to do a regular square knot where we are using just four cords, so like this. Um, I put the other four aside uh, to avoid confusion so that we can just work with these four cords in the right side. So again, um, take the right cord, put it over the holding cords, take the left cord over the right, then bring it to the back and through the loop in your right side. Pull sideways. Make it snug, but not very tight. Make sure it's um, up there. And then do the opposite side, left side. Bring it to the back and through the loop. And pull sideways. And there you have it. You have another square knot. So it's like you have a mother square knot on top and then a baby square knot there at the bottom. Now we'll do the same thing for the left side. So again, identify your holding cords and your working cords and then again start at the right side so all make sure you always start at at the same side so right side left over right bring it to the back and through the loop and then pull sideways bring it up there make it snug and then left side right over left bring it to the back and through the loop and pull sideways there you go and now we have two square baby square knots beside each other and then that's the mother square knot on top next we will do an alternating square knot so that means you're going to take two from each side so you have four cords in the middle and you're going to make another square knot so there we'll do the same thing Take your right cord over left, put it to the back and through the loop, other side, and there you have it. That is your alternating square knot, which means it's in the middle. So now we have three layers, and then now we're going to do what we call a sinnet of square knots, which is basically square knots piled up on each other, or like a pillar of square knots. So we're going to make three square knots, so this is the second square knot, then I'll make one more. So again, remember, always start from the right, uh, from the same side. So there, I am making three square knots um, on top of each other, so that is a sinnet of square knots. Now, I will do um, another alternating square knot, but this time basically I am mirroring the two square knots on top of the sinnet. So I will take again the four cords in the right side and I will make another square knot. So same thing, right side, left over right, to the back, and pull sideways and uh, the same thing on the opposite side there and pull make sure to hold that holding cords down and as you can see um, I made it uh, parallel to the, the square knot on top of it on the top of the sinnet so it's basically really just a mirror of the two square knots on top of the sinnet. So I will do the same thing and there we have it. Now I will continue. Let's continue to do the alternating square knot. So basically we're going to do a pattern of two, one, two, one, and so on. This there we have two and then one and let's just continue we are going to repeat this pattern three times two one two one 
two, one, two. <laughs> so like, yeah, more, more or less three times. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We end with two. And that is the last one. So there, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That is the pattern. So now we have two sections, that synod section and then this alternating square knot section. So I'm going to repeat that synod section here at the bottom of this alternating square knot section so I will put um, I will get the four chords in the middle again and I will make a square knot a synod of square knots three square knots to be exact and then I will repeat the same thing the alternating square knot section which again is two one two one two one two So I'm just pulling it up so that I can make the knots in the lower part of the headband. And this is the last part of this section. There you go. So now I have uh, this alternating square knot section, same as the one above. And what we are going to do is we're going to close the, the section again by mirroring this section that we started with. We will do the same thing only um, the, on the opposite side. So we will again um, do an alternating square knot, get the four chords in the middle and make one, two, and three so again a synod of three square knots and then alternating square knot you make two square knots beside each other and then we are now going to close with the mother square knot so as we did at the beginning it's basically the same thing only we are working with double the number of chords so now this is what it looks like that whole section is about 10 inches now you can remove it from the dowel and this part where we are going to attach it to the elastic band it would depend now on the size of your uh, that you want your headband to be based on how it fits you of course so I would fit the headband at this point and make sure I know at what point I will attach the elastic band to, so it, it really depends on your size. You can adjust it. So there's also an option for you to not use the elastic band and just tie the ropes at the bottom of your head like that, but for the purpose of this video, we will use an elastic headband, which I uh, prefer actually. It's like a wear and go. So for me, I'm using about three inches of space under that mother square knot. And from there, I will now use the elastic headband. I am going to put all of the cords inside one, one side of the elastic band with that three inches of space. 
yours could be shorter maybe maybe yours is almost at the end maybe only one inch but for me it's three inches and then I will do a regular knot like a shoelace knot with all of the cords there you go and just pull that snug nice and tight just a regular shoelace knot there you go there and now we were going to do one last finishing knot oh but before that I will do the exact same thing first in the other side so again I gave myself about three inches worth of allowance space there a regular knot all right now we are going to do the finishing part and to do that I will basically just grab one side first and I will get the tail end of the cords and kind of fold it fold it around the elastic band like this and we are going to do the last knot which is called a wrapping knot or a wrap knot. So to do that, um, as part of your kit, you will find a cord that is one yard long. So I will get this cord, the one yard cord, and hold the bundle of cords this way and kind of like clip it with my thumb there um, the in the, the inside of the headband I'm going to take the edge uh, the end of the rope the cord and put it like that clip it with my thumb and kind of do a loop like that and clip that with my thumb also clip that in place so I have a sort of loop and then I'll take the longer end of the cord and I will begin to wrap that one around all of the cords. So there carefully at the beginning and then it kind of gets easier eventually. I will wrap it around for about, I think, uh, I will wrap it around 10 times, about 10 times. So I'll wrap it around um, in a snug way, not very tight, but you know, just snug enough or tight enough for it not not to fall apart so there I'm just wrapping that around so after that maybe the tenth wrap I will now bring the end of the cord I'll put it through this loop that we find at the end remember the loop we made earlier we'll put that through the loop and then the start the top of the cord that is found on top of this wrap we are now going to pull that slowly and as you can see here down below that loop is now going to sort of eat up the edge of the rope into that wrap and as it eats it up now you can take both ends of the rope and pull pull until it is tight and nice and you can just adjust that so that the wrap will really be nice and tight and snug like this and then you can just grab your scissors and now you can cut that uh, the remaining end of the rope at the bottom and then now you are going to cut all of the remaining cords on top so be careful as you cut make sure you are cutting the right cords just the excess ones and there you go now it is you have a very clean finish at the end at the end of the headband so basically we will do the same thing on the other side I have one more piece of cord that I will do, I will use to do another wrap knot. I'll do the exact same thing.
cut all the excess rope so this side has a little bit more excess they're just trimming it a bit so that it's clean and there you have it your macrame headband it's nice you have that um, finish with the wrap knot and basically you can adjust it to whatever size you need the headband to be you have these um, like about five sections of rope uh, of, of knots making the design there you have it congratulations you just made your first macrame headband if you'd like to order more of our make my macrame kits just go over to our Instagram page at Wana Macrame or our, our website at wanamacrame.com. Thank you and see you next time.